and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club your daily dose of health and medical news I am Mr Zaman and today I'm going to talk about the collaborative roles of neurons and glia to drive neural regeneration after a brain injury one of the most devastating aspects of stroke and traumatic brain injury is that the neurons we lose are never replaced this means that depending on the injury site patients may suffer long term impairments of crucial motor or cognitive functions such as language and memory but the brain does have the ability to produce new neurons it contains reserves of special cells called neural stem cells that partially activate in response to tissue damage unfortunately while many cells begin the process of regeneration full activation occurs only in a small fraction of stem cells as a result few newly made neurons are produced and fewer still manage to survive and repopulate the damaged site instead it gets filled with a common type of brain cell called glia which functions as the glue of the nervous system so how can we boost neural regeneration a study published in the journal of developmental cell may offer a way forward scientists at the champali mod foundation in portugal discovered a novel mechanism by which neurons and glia collaborate to drive this process we have revealed how neuron stem cells sense injury and are recruited for tissue repair these findings may be the first step forward towards developing drugs to promote the formation of new neurons following brain damage said the study senior author krista reiner to understand how neural regeneration works reiner's team turned to the fly and mouse animal models so just like ours their brains also contain neural stem cells she explained in addition many signaling molecules and forms of intercellular communications are common to humans flies and mice consequently the insights we gain from these animal models are likely to be relevant for understanding human physiology Annabel Simoes a doctoral student in the lab began by asking what molecules were present exclusively in the injured brain area among dozens one in particular caught her attention it was swim a transporter protein that quite literally swims across the tissue helping molecules that normally act locally to spread out Following a thorough investigation we learned that swim is critical for mounting a regenerative response to brain injury she explained the team found that when oxygen levels drop in the injured brain area a certain type of glial cells jump into action these cells produce swim and secrete it to the extracellular space then the transporter encapsulates wg and carries it to the nearest stem cell effectively turning it on The team's results reveal a novel cooperative mechanism by which neurons and glia join forces to drive neural regeneration. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.